It can be said that humanity is set to enter a new age of space exploration, with the focus being put on a manned mission to Mars and observatories like the James Webb Space Telescope uncovering mysteries of the universe. While most of the focus is on things beyond our solar system, new evidence suggests that we may still have some discoveries to make in our own cosmic backyard. The reports state that NASA may have found clues that point towards the existence of Planet X. Let's take a closer look. In the early 1900s, astronomers believed Planet X could exist as it would explain the wobbles in the orbits of Uranus and Neptune. The gravitational pull of another planetary body was thought to be responsible, and so when Pluto was discovered in 1930, scientists believed this was the ghost planet they'd been seeking, so the search was over. However, the hunt restarted when further research revealed that Pluto was too small to affect Neptune and Uranus. Poor Pluto would later be demoted to a dwarf planet, and whether it is a planet at all is hotly debated. Based on data collected from Voyager 2's flyby of Neptune in 1989, NASA announced that there were no anomalies in the orbits of the outer planets at all. They were not rogue. So at this stage, it seemed that they had been searching for something that did not exist. In 1992, the Kuiper Belt was discovered, and with its study came more signs that Planet X may well exist. This vast region of the solar system beyond Neptune is believed to contain hundreds of thousands of icy bodies larger than 62 miles across, as well as a trillion or more comets. Pluto is the best known of the larger objects here, with Quaor, Sedna, and Eris discovered between 2002 and 2005, and all four were classified as dwarf planets in 2006. Scientists noted that Sedna travels in a long elliptical orbit that takes 11,000 years to complete. What pulls Sedna in this direction? Could it be another world with a strong gravitational pull? In January 2015, Caltech astronomers Konstantin Batagin and Mike Brown announced new research that provides evidence of a giant planet tracing an unusual, elongated orbit in the outer solar system. The prediction is based on detailed mathematical modeling and computer simulations, not direct observation. This large object could explain the unique orbits of at least five smaller objects discovered in the distant Kuiper belt. Scientists state it's too early to say with certainty there's a so-called Planet X. What we're seeing is an early prediction based on modeling from limited observations. It's the start of a process that could lead to an exciting result. The Caltech scientists believe Planet X may have a mass about 10 times that of Earth and be similar in size to Uranus or Neptune. The predicted orbit is about 20 times farther from our Sun on average than Neptune, which orbits a Sun at an average distance of 2.8 billion miles. It would take this new planet between 10,000 and 20,000 years to make just one full orbit around the Sun. Astronomers, including Batagen and Brown, will begin using the world's most powerful telescopes to search for the object in its predicted orbit. Any object that is distant from the Sun will be very faint and hard to detect, but astronomers calculate that it should be possible to see it using existing telescopes. For more than a century, astronomers have mused about such a planet, erroneously believing that something hefty was perturbing Neptune's orbit. Astronomer Percival Lowell called the world Planet X and was so intent on finding it that he left a million dollars to fund the continuing search after his death in 1916. In 1930, the Lowell Observatory's Clyde Tombow found little Pluto instead. The Caltech team based their prediction of Planet X's existence on how it perturbs a group of Kuiper Belt objects, or KBOs. The small icy worlds beyond Neptune include a population of objects with extreme orbits that take them at least 150 times farther from the Sun than Earth's orbit. In 2016, Batagen and Brown scrutinized six of those objects whose oblong, tilted orbital paths have confounded scientists for years. The team concluded that an unseen planet about 10 times as massive as Earth must be gravitationally shepherding the objects onto their catawampus trajectories. The planet's estimated mass sits between Earth and Neptune, making it a type of world that appears to be common throughout the galaxy based on surveys of planets orbiting other stars, yet is conspicuously absent in our solar system. Soon after the announcement, though, astronomers began casting doubts on the Planet X hypothesis. Chief among their concerns was that the peculiar clustering of orbits might not be clustering at all. Instead, over the past five years, multiple teams using a variety of data sets have repeatedly concluded that the evidence pointing to Planet X is nothing more than an observational artifact. Perhaps Planet X is an apparition, its supposed gravitational handiwork, 
a false signature created by a small number of misleading data points. Astronomers are still working on resolving the controversy, and this latest analysis from Brown and Batigen is one attempt to do that. Assuming this planet-like object does exist out there, Planet X's mass would most likely be of magnitude greater than Earth's, with a girth approaching the range of one of our ice giants. A likely scenario explaining the body's far-flung position puts its origins somewhere between the orbits of Jupiter to Neptune, with a birth much like any of the other gas planets in our solar system. Before it could gorge itself, Planet X would have received a kick from the gravity well of one of the two gas giants and found itself out among the icy wastes. Despite its large, slow orbit, enough time should have passed since the dawn of the solar system for it to have cleared its orbit of frozen chunks of dust and rock, earning this stunted gas ball an official planetary title. Alternatively, though vanishingly less likely, Planet X could be an adopted child snatched away from another passing star long, long ago. Astronomers first began searching for Planet X in 2016 when they noticed that six rocky objects beyond the orbit of Neptune clustered strangely, with the most distant points in their orbits located much farther from the Sun than the nearest points of their orbits. The team calculated that the gravitational pull of an unseen planet measuring 5 to 10 times the size of Earth could explain the eccentricity in those rocks' orbits. Half a decade later, many teams have tried and failed to detect the theoretical world. The biggest hurdle in the hunt for Planet X is the sheer distance involved. While Pluto orbits between 30 and 50 astronomical units from the Sun, the authors of the 2016 study estimated that Planet X could be anywhere between 400 and 800 AU away, so far away that sunlight might not reach the planet at all. That means there's little hope of ever detecting the cold, dark Planet X with standard visible light telescopes. Instead, astronomers turn to the likes of the ACT telescope, which can search the cosmos in millimeter wavelengths, a short form of radio waves that come close to infrared radiation. Millimeter telescopes are often used to peer into the dim, freezing gas clouds, where new stars form because such clouds don't absorb millimeter light, according to the International Research Institute for Radio Astronomy. While this survey failed to turn up any compelling evidence of Planet X, new millimeter telescope facilities, such as the Simons Observatory that's currently under construction in Chile's Atacama Desert, will continue the search with even more sensitive telescopes, allowing researchers to narrow down even further where our long-lost neighbor might be hiding. The fact that scientists haven't yet set eyes on Planet X could suggest that, if it exists, the world is positioned near the farthest reaches of its orbit, making it a faint, slowly moving target that's hiding in starlight. Brown and Batigen, plus Shepard and Trujillo, are using the powerful Subaru telescope situated atop Hawaii's Mauna Kea to hunt for the elusive planet. But even with the sharpest tools in astronomers' arsenal, the search is challenging. At its surmised brightness and orbit, Planet X inconveniently blends into the glittering masses of background stars, a world adrift amid the milky streamer of our galaxy in the nighttime sky. Sifting through star fields using Subaru isn't the only way astronomers could pin the planet in the sky. NASA's Transiting Exoplanet Survey Satellite, which is busy searching for planets orbiting other stars, may catch sight of Planet X as it scans areas that include the planet's supposed orbit. In 2019, astronomers suggested that clever data processing could pull faraway solar system objects from TESS observations, a technique that scientists are currently working on. Many astronomers agree that Planet Hunter's most likely chance of finding Planet X is the Vera Rubin Observatory, currently under construction atop a Chilean mountaintop. This 8.4-meter telescope, with an enormous field of view, will photograph the entire visible sky every few nights. Starting in 2023, the observatory will let astronomers track the movements of millions of celestial objects, including space junk, asteroids, comets, spy telescopes, stars, and maybe even Planet X. Brown thinks the planet could turn up before fancy next-generation telescopes come online. Perhaps, he says, the stealthy world is lurking in data that astronomers already have in hand. New reports from NASA state that if the elusive planet does exist, astronomers may finally have a decent chance of spotting it. NASA has recently announced that a planet about 10 times more massive than Earth likely lurks in the distant outer solar system, orbiting perhaps 600 times farther from the Sun than Earth does on average. The evidence for the existence of this Planet X is indirect at the moment, 
computer models suggest a big, undiscovered world has shaped the strange orbits of multiple objects in the Kuiper Belt, the ring of icy bodies beyond Neptune. But direct evidence could come relatively soon in the form of telescope observations. The data collected is bright enough that on its closest approach to the Sun, the planet may even be visible with some backyard telescopes. This means that Planet X is not too close to the Sun at the moment. However, there is a chance that powerful ground-based telescopes may still be able to detect it. The 27-foot-wide Subaru Telescope in Hawaii is the go-to observatory for the search because Planet X is predicted to be visible in the northern hemisphere sky. Astronomers state that it is still tough to know just how detectable the planet would be considering the uncertainty surrounding the putative world's size, orbit, and composition as these characteristics affect the brightness of the planet. Scientists believe they have already covered some parts of the planet's possible orbit using the Subaru Telescope as a part of a larger, years-long survey for more objects such as 2012 VP113. The researchers will likely use Subaru to narrow in on more promising possible locations, but the hunt for smaller bodies such as 2012 VP113 will continue as well. The hunt for Planet X will also probably send astronomers back to their archives. The undiscovered world may have already been photographed by powerful telescopes, but researchers didn't spot it. If you found this video informative, you may also like this one, which talks about SpaceX and its new artificial gravity starship. Do you think Planet X exists? Please share your thoughts in the comment section below.